In the last chapter, we offered a vivid picture of food insecurity, a condition many Texans are working to eliminate. Food security, according to the USDA, means all people at all times have enough food for an active, healthy life, something that 16% of Texans don't currently have. As we've discussed, barriers to food security include poverty, lack of physical access to nutritious food, and limited knowledge and skills necessary to grow or prepare healthy food. The key to establishing food security is removing these barriers by ensuring access, which has four requirements. Food must be physically available at the market or even in a home garden. It must also be affordable and culturally appropriate. In other words, familiar food the consumer will eat. And finally, access requires a knowledgeable and skilled consumer. Uh, it's one thing to know what you should be eating, but it's, a, it's an entire different thing to consider, uh, do I know how to provide that for my family? Do I have the skills and, and resources that I need in order to take that food home, prepare it for my family, uh, and, uh, and provide them that, that healthier option? On a community level, that means farmers are producing and distributing crops in an environmentally responsible way. They receive a fair price for their products, which all consumers can afford. And cultural traditions such as rural farm life or particular taste preferences are preserved. A sustainable food system has three key components, grow, share, and prepare. Grow involves the production of food, which includes acquiring supplies and materials, preparing soils, cultivating crops or tending animals, plus harvesting, minimal processing, and getting ready for market. Share entails getting food to the consumer. That includes selling through farmers markets, retail outlets, and delivery services, as well as cafeterias and restaurants. It also includes sharing the food grown in a garden with family, friends, and neighbors. Prepare refers to cooking and processing food in a commercial operation, as well as preparing meals in the home with family. As we'll demonstrate in the remaining chapters, each of these components must be fully developed to ensure the success of the system. We're already seeing individuals and organizations working to develop sustainable community systems in a variety of ways. People have begun to grow their own food in home and community gardens. Even children are busy tending gardens at school and learning about agriculture firsthand with field trips to local farms. Their parents shop at farmers markets, some of which even accept SNAP or WIC benefits. Even schools and other institutions are beginning to purchase fresh foods from local farmers. They take cooking classes offered at the markets or through other community organizations and cook healthy and affordable meals at home with their families. In the next chapter, we'll examine the GROW component of a successful community food system.